Item number, SCP-6572, level two restricted, containment class neutralized. Special containment procedures. The current location of SCP-6572 is unknown. Therefore, containment efforts are to be directed towards falsifying reported causes of death for SCP-6572's victims and explaining damage to infrastructure. Footnote one. As of September 12, 2017, these containment procedures no longer apply. Description: SCP-6572 is a sword labeled as being able to cut through anything. It is not affected by friction. SCP-6572 also appears to be resistant to high temperatures and pressures. No visual descriptions of SCP-6572 prior to classification exist. Cross-referencing characteristics of SCP-6572 with those of swords historically possessed by Marshall, Carter, and Dark has been deemed infeasible. Discovery SCP-6572 was one of several unnoteworthy anomalous items seized in a raid on a Marshall, Carter, and Dark warehouse on June 24, 2002. During initial transit to the nearest Foundation site, the storage unit of SCP-6572, later determined to utilize electromagnetic suspension, failed. SCP-6572 pierced its storage unit, destroying its mc and unique identifier label and proceeded to fall into the ground. SCP-6572 was presumed lost. On December 1, 2002, witnesses in Perth, Australia reported that a man exploded into viscera. High-speed camera footage suggested that the cause was SCP-6572. SCP-6572 traveled in a parabolic arc, re-entering the Earth approximately 30 meters away. It is presumed that SCP-6572 will re-emerge in Bermuda, the antipode of Perth. Footnote 2 Antipode, point on Earth directly opposite to another. SCP-6572 has been classified as Euclid. Update, April 30th, 2003. On April 10th, 2003, witnesses reported that Donald Duck at Disneyland had been scattered across the park. Surveillance footage indicated that the cause of death was SCP-6572. It was determined that while SCP-6572 does not appear to be affected by friction, it is affected by lateral forces from convective currents present within Earth's mantle and core, altering its velocity. As such, without a comprehensive model of the Earth's mantle, it is impossible to accurately predict the trajectory of SCP-6572. SCP-6572 has been upgraded to Keter. A full list of SCP-6572 emergence events is available upon request. Over 50 emergence events have been directly observed. Update, June 30th, 2010. SCP-6572 appears to be accelerating. At every emergence event, SCP-6572 travels further before re-entering the ground. It is estimated that SCP-6572 will escape from Earth's gravity by 2020. Update, September 30th, 2017. SCP-6572 left Earth's gravity well on September 12th, 2017. Containment efforts are no longer necessary. SCP-6572 reclassified to neutralized. No more dangerous than other space junk now. Dr. Solstice. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Lesby Friends, and Scrubversive. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell, link in the description.